There are moments when technology doesn't just evolve, it lifts off. And right now, China is operating in that strange, thrilling space where science fiction stops being fiction and quietly becomes engineering. While most countries are still sketching ideas of future air mobility on whiteboards, China is already building it, testing it, and flying it over its cities like it's the most normal thing in the world. Imagine looking up and seeing not helicopters, not drones, but cars, elegant pods of carbon fiber and electric rotors rising vertically into the sky as casually as you unlock your phone. Imagine highways that no longer trap you because you can literally detach from them. Imagine a country where traffic slowly becomes an old world problem. These aren't prototypes sitting on showroom floors. These are real machines, some already flying, others about to enter commercial service. And together they form a fleet that shows exactly where China thinks the future is headed, upward. Today we're diving into the nine flying vehicles China has created, each one stranger, smarter, or more ambitious than the last. And trust me, by the end of this video, the idea of a flying car won't sound futuristic anymore. It'll sound inevitable. Chongqing Flying Car The Chongqing Flying Car is China's answer to a question every engineer in the world has struggled with. How do you create a vehicle that drives on the road and actually flies? Not a concept sketch, not a CGI render, a real physical machine that switches between driving and flying as smoothly as changing gears. This vehicle uses a modular capsule design. The passenger cabin is the core, and it can attach to two different modules depending on the mission. On the ground, it locks onto an electric four-wheel chassis and behaves like a compact city car. But when it's time to take to the air, the cabin detaches and connects to a flight module equipped with multiple rotors and foldable arms. This system solves one of the biggest problems in flying car design. If you force a single vehicle to handle both driving and flying, it becomes too heavy and inefficient at both Chongqing's approach separates the functions, giving you a car that drives well and an aircraft that flies well, without compromise. The flight module uses electric vertical takeoff and landing tech, meaning it doesn't need runways or open fields. It can lift straight up from a rooftop, a parking lot, or a small vertiport. The idea is true door-to-door -door travel, where your commute doesn't end at an airport. It continues seamlessly into the sky. What makes this prototype so fascinating isn't just the engineering, it's the vision. A future where your car is really a smart capsule that chooses the best path, road or air, depending on traffic, weather or distance. A vehicle that treats the sky like just another lane. Xpeng X2 The Xpeng X2 is the moment China stopped talking about flying cars and actually put one in the sky. Sleek black and shaped almost like a futuristic insect, this fully electric eVTOL was designed with a simple but massive goal. Turn vertical flight into something as normal as driving to work. The X2 is a two-seat carbon fiber pod lifted by eight rotors arranged in a dual X configuration. That layout isn't just aesthetic. It gives the aircraft stability even in turbulent air and makes the takeoff feel more like rising on a perfectly controlled elevator than launching with a drone's aggression. And unlike traditional helicopters, the X-2 is whisper-quiet, clean, and built to operate in crowded megacities without shaking windows or waking entire neighborhoods. What makes it truly groundbreaking is the autonomous flight system. The passenger doesn't need to be a pilot. The aircraft does the thinking you choose your destination, press a button, and the X-2 handles the climb, the route, the descent, and even the emergency protocols. It's basically a Tesla Model X that decided roads were optional. Xpeng didn't build this for military use or for show. They built it for reality. Short urban hops, traffic-free point-to-point movement, and eventually, personal sky commuting. Every flight test is a glimpse of a future where your car doesn't just move forward, it moves upward. Land Aircraft Carrier If the Xpeng X2 is China's sleek vision of personal air travel, the land aircraft carrier is its unapologetically bold borderline sci-fi counterpart. This machine looks like someone fused a futuristic pickup truck with a compact aircraft, because that's literally what it is. The concept is simple but genius. A six-wheel ground vehicle that carries a fully functional eVTOL drone on its back on the road. It behaves like a rugged electric truck built for rough terrain, off-road exploration, and rescue operations. But when the situation demands speed, altitude or access to places wheels can't go, 
The drone detaches, unfolds its rotors, and takes off vertically. The real magic is in the modular design. The ground vehicle is the carrier, the mobile base. The aircraft is the strike unit, ready to deploy for scanning, scouting, emergency response, or simply hopping over obstacles that would trap any normal truck. It's the closest the civilian world has ever come to a real-life transformer. And because it's developed by Xpeng Aero HT, it follows the same philosophy as the X2. Electric power, vertical lift, and flight software that does most of the piloting no runways. No complicated controls. Just a vehicle that can decide at any moment whether the mission is better handled on wheels or in the air. The land aircraft carrier isn't just a flying car. It's a dual-mode mobility platform, built for a future where transportation won't be limited to one environment at a time. Ehang 184. Before flying taxis became a global trend, China had already put one in the air. The Ehang 184 wasn't just another prototype. It was the first autonomous passenger drone to make headlines worldwide, showing that a single person could lift off vertically without touching a single control stick. The design is pure efficiency, a lightweight cockpit supported by four arms and eight rotors, giving it the stability of a high-end drone, but scaled up for human flight inside. There's no steering wheel, no joystick, no pilot console, just a seat, a harness, and a touchscreen. You enter your destination, confirm, and the aircraft handles everything. Takeoff, flight path, altitude adjustments, landing. It's the closest humanity had come to press button to fly. What made the Ehang 184 revolutionary wasn't just its autonomy, it was its purpose. This aircraft was built for short-range personal transport, urban commutes, emergency medical flights, and even rapid response scenarios where a traditional helicopter would be too big or too loud. And because it's fully electric, it offers silent operation and zero emissions, a key requirement for future urban airspaces. The 184 was the spark that launched China into the air mobility race. It proved that autonomous flying machines weren't a fantasy. They were a present-day technology, ready to be refined, scaled, and eventually integrated into city skies. Auto Flight Prosperity If most flying vehicles are designed to hop across a single city, the Auto Flight Prosperity was created for something far more ambitious. City-to-city -city air travel. This eVTOL isn't a compact drone or a small urban pod. It's a sleek winged aircraft built to replace short distance car trips and even some regional flights Prosperity uses a lift and cruise configuration, meaning it takes off vertically using eight lift rotors, then switches to forward flight using a single large pusher propeller on the rear. Once in cruise mode, the wings take over, giving it far greater efficiency and range than typical multi-copter designs. It's the difference between hovering like a drone and gliding like an aircraft. An autoflight engineered it to do both flawlessly inside. The Prosperity seats four passengers plus a pilot, though future versions are expected to become fully autonomous. Its carbon composite airframe keeps the weight extremely low, allowing the aircraft to reach distances of over 200 kilometers per trip, making it ideal for commuting between nearby cities like Shenzhen Guangzhou or Shanghai Hangzhou. What makes Prosperity stand out is its certification progress. Autoflight has invested heavily in safety testing, automated flight systems, and redundancy architecture, essentially giving the aircraft backups for its backups. Everything about it is designed to feel less like a flying experiment and more like a commercial air service in the making. Prosperity isn't just about rising above urban traffic. It's about shrinking regions, connecting cities, and redefining what daily distance even means. Ehang EH216S. If the Ehang 184 was the spark, the Ehang EH216S is the full-blown firestorm. This is the first autonomous flying taxi in the world to receive official airworthiness certification, meaning it's not just a prototype, not a concept, not a demo. It's a legally approved passenger aircraft ready for real-world service. The EH216S is a two-seat multi-copter EV tall, powered by 16 rotors arranged around its circular frame giving it incredible stability and redundancy. If one rotor fails, the aircraft compensates instantly. If two fail, it still flies. This is what makes it feel less like a drone and more like a built-for-purpose aviation machine. What makes it truly revolutionary is the autonomy. There's no pilot, no manual controls, no training required for passengers. You simply climb in, confirm your route, 
and the aircraft does the rest. Takeoff, ascent, navigation, descent, landing. It's the Uber of the sky, except the driver is an AI that never gets tired, distracted, or stressed. The EH-216S is already being used for tourism flights, short-range shuttles, emergency medical missions, and pilot programs for future aerial taxi networks. It's quiet, fully electric, and designed to operate comfortably inside densely populated cities, something helicopters could never do without causing chaos. This is the aircraft that transforms flying taxis from an idea into an industry, the point where China went from asking, can we, to confidently saying, we already are. China's flying vehicles aren't futuristic fantasies. They're the blueprint of a world where the sky becomes just another part of our daily commute. From autonomous air taxis to modular cars that detach and take off, each of these machines reveals the same message. Mobility is about to break free from the ground. If teched out skies excite you as much as they excite us, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next wave of breakthroughs. The future isn't coming someday. It's already airborne.